Uh, hey guys, welcome back and in today's video I'm just going to go over a quick fix to the Lunar Client Motion Blur not working or flickering because I used to get this issue a lot, okay? <laughs> it was very really annoying. Uh, well, let's get straight into it. Now firstly you want to go into your options, go video settings and turn your frame rate to the max, turn it unlimited because if you don't, your game's going to look terrible. Then you want to go into performance and turn off fast render. This is probably the biggest thing that stops motion blur from working for most people because a lot of people have this on and they don't realize that, that it's there. Anyways, once you've got that off, you want to come into quality and turn off anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing. You want to turn it off. And then you have to restart your game after changing this as well, because it, you just have to. Anyways, once you've done that, you want to go into the Lunar Client settings by pressing the right shift on your keyboard. And you want to make sure you have Menu Blur off. This is a really big one, because I think it's on by default in Lunar Client, but you just want to have this off. And then, here's another big one. This one was such a big deal for me, because I had it on and I didn't realize it, and no, like not many people talk about it so you want to turn off saturation you want to turn off color saturation not saturation color saturation once all of those are off you want to make sure you actually have motion blur enabled uh thanks thanks hypixel once all of those are off you want to make sure you actually have motion blur enabled and you want to make sure old blur is off and then you can restart your game and it should work okay so once you've restarted your game Motion blur should should work, but then you just want to go into motion blur and fiddle with the setting until you get a motion blur you like. One's super low, so there's basically no motion blur, and 10 is, well, uh, it's um, sort of insane. If, if it lets me... Uh, this is, um, I wouldn't recommend using this, honestly. I usually like around 6. It's a nice amount. And then what I do is I also have the... Penza motion blur shader over the top of that and it makes it just it just makes it look really smooth see that now if you did everything right oh, um now if you did everything right motion blur should be working and your game should look a thousand times better now if this video helped you i'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed because i'm going to be uploading some more content soon i'm going to be uploading some more videos and some more shorts so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one